you're interested in adding realistic bokeh to improve your portraits, you might be surprised to know that On1 is a pretty capable tool to perform this task. The tool which makes this possible is a filter called Lens Blur which is located in the Effects panel. To demonstrate this, let's work with this image. Unlike other apps which rely on AI processes such as automatically creating a depth map to determine areas in and out of focus, with On1, it is a more manual process and you have to specify the out of focus areas yourself. Looking at this image, as you can see, the background is a bit too busy. Let's apply a blur to make the subject stand out. I'll use the recently improved Super Select tool. I'll right click and choose Lens Blur. As you can see, this creates a new filter under the Effects panel. Unfortunately, the blur has been incorrectly applied to the subject. Let's correct it by inverting the mask. I'll open the Mask Properties panel. I'll click the Invert button. There, a pretty good result. As a plus, On1 allows you to refine the effect with the following settings. Amount, adjust the overall strength of the blur. Optic quality controls the aperture shape in the inner and outer feather. Unfortunately though, lowering the settings produces a weird donut effect which I don't think looks particularly pleasing. As such, I'll leave this setting at the default. Side sets the number of blades in the lens aperture which is supposed to change the shape of the bokeh. Unfortunately, as you can see, moving this slider doesn't produce much difference. Curvature sets the curvature of the aperture blades. Blooming adjusts the highlight bokeh. As you can see, increasing this makes the out of focus highlights brighter. Brightness controls the overall brightness of the blur and contrast controls the contrast of the blurred areas. Next, let's look at a second example. Once again, I'll perform the same steps. Unfortunately though, this time, there are some errors in the fingers. To fix this, the best tool to use is the masking brush. I'll ensure the mode is set to erase with perfect brush edge detection enabled. I'll fix the errors. Notice that one advantage of using lens blur is its ability to create a bokeh circle similar to how a shallow depth of field will enlarge small light sources in a physical lens. As you can see, this is not present when using just a standard blur filter. Let's look at a third example. Once again, let's apply the same process as the previous. As you can see, while it is a good result, the effect can be made more natural by making the blur gradually increase from foreground to background, just like what you get in a real camera. Right now, the effect is overly abrupt. How do we fix this? We can fix this by adding a gradient to the mask. To understand how this works, let's view the mask. I'll open Mask Properties. I'll click Show Mask. Right now, the mask is evenly applied across the entire background. Let's add in a gradient that goes from dark to bright from bottom to the top of the image. I'll choose the Gradient Mask tool. I'll drag in the mask. I'll rotate the mask. There, the mask is looking good. I'll remove the mask from view. And there you go. As you can see, a more realistic bokeh, which gradually increases in strength as it moves from foreground to background. So I hope you found this video helpful. As you can see, lens blur is yet another feature that you probably never heard about. I certainly didn't. Let me know if there are any other underrated or obscure on one features. Write it down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. 
Until the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.